Do you want to be complete? Do you want to be balanced? Do you want to tap into unknown potential? Do you want to experience life on your own terms? Experience your body on your own terms? How much motivated have you been by seeing figures like Jack Chan, Bruce Lee, Usain Bolt, bodybuilders, anime like Dragon Ball that just inspired the hell out of you to get more training in, to become better, to push yourself, to really know your limits, surpass them and grow this comfort zone into a new territory and start tapping into an identity that you didn't even know you had in yourself. See, when you're attracted to people like that you think as a hero, it's because you see a version of you in them. You see that something is possible. I'm not talking about fiction like anime, but they're still have, having traits that you could adapt into your life. You get your outcomes by the information you have at this moment. If you don't change the information and how you react to that information, you will never get a new outcome. So if you're not satisfied where you are, or you know that there's more to life, there's, there's more, more into the capabilities of your body and the potential you can live and the quality of life you can experience for yourself by meeting people, by growing yourself, by building a business, by training in a different way, because there's a different way and there's definitely a more holistic, holistic and a better way. Ancient Greeks had something very key. They were working both the body and the mind. There's exercises like meditation, breath work, which are getting more and more out into this world. But there's also the spiritual aspect of being consistent and embodying the values that are the most important to you. So what is the most important thing for you? What will make you more complete? What will bring you freedom, euphoria? What will make your life an uncommon life? Transcending from the status quo, getting above average. You have the potential in you. I have the potential in me and that's what's drive, driving me. Knowing what else I can do if I put in the effort, if I put in the time, if I make it a priority, if I cut out all the toxic people, if I cut out all the distractions, if I install perfect productive habits in my life that will bring me closer to my highest self. And that only happens when you are living aligned with the universal laws of vibration, of frequency, of mentalism, of cause and effect, of gender, of the pendulum. The more you to the extreme you go, the more you will swing to the other extreme. I will cover this in a different video, but if you aren't going against your nature, you will pay the price. So your body is meant to move daily. Your body is meant to be challenged daily. Your mind is meant to be challenged daily. You can do this as one thing. It's not separated. As soon as we start separating the mind from the body, we are already off track. Everything is one. I'm not one person. Everything is one. That's where everything starts. So work on this idea. You are 70, 80, 90. I don't even know specifically anymore. A body of water. Have you seen a lake or a pool with water that's stagnated, still, non-movable? Can you see that the vibrancy and the vitality is out of that water? It's full of polluted microorganisms. It's changed its, its color, its smell. It's not something you're attracted to go into, right? If you don't move your body, your water inside you will sit. You will not work optimally. Your nutrition will not be provided to the areas you need. You will rob yourself of vital health and longevity and clarity of mind and thought. You are the creator of that. That's the beautiful thing. That's what I love about all this shit. Know what you want and start doing it. Know what you want in five years what do you need to have to do today that will make you closer and closer? This is just another day in the journey of becoming a complete man, a complete athlete. There's not only strength, there's not only coordination, there's not only balance, there, there's not only speed and agility, there's not only solving riddles, there's not only ambidexterity, but these are together 
is what's gonna make a capable, useful athlete, body, human. And when you train like that, you also get the character traits of tra training like that. Overcoming your fear, finding a problem and solving it. All these things, all these way of putting your mind into a challenge and finding the way out of it is what's gonna make you a better man. If you avoid these things, that's what you get, avoidance in your life. So you learn to avoid what will make you better. So if you not reframe fear with learning, you're gonna live in hell. Get woke, reprogram, reprogram yourself and understand by going back to all your experiences when you have learned the most. You never learned by not failing. And again, failing is learning. You only get the return of information. Get clarity, leave your phone, go out and walk for three hours only out in the sun, as naked as possible, barefoot, and allow your mind to welcome new ideas. Make space internally for new things to come in that will bring you a different life, a different version of yourself. Look up to people that inspire you and block everything out. If you don't go into monk mode for a period of life, if you don't disconnect from what is the norm, you will never stick out or become and experience how beautiful of this life is, what gift it is to be alive. So start doing things you can. When you start doing things you thought you can't and you suddenly do them, that's when you grow. The hand fans, the muscles, the ability will not be there forever, forever. But all the powerful lessons are gonna stick with you forever. And they're gonna, gonna bring into life a new man. A new man that can provide for himself, that can change a diaper, that can stand there for his family, for his girlfriend, that can build a house, that can find problems, that can be calm in uncomfortable situations. If you don't practice that, if you don't put yourself in a situation where you have to manage yourself, when you, where you have to keep your, your calm down and think clearly, take a deep breath. When life needs it, that's it from today. I hope this was insightful, helpful, and brought some thoughts into attention. Keep working on yourself. It's the biggest gift you can give yourself. You have the awareness to do it. We're the only species in the world that can do this. So experience, go out, get a mandatory pull-up session, build your body, build your mind, build your identity, become who you are meant to become. Get lucid, get strong to be useful, get lucid to be aware, to manifest.